All right, and now for one of the most anticipated moments here, we are going out onto the stage for John Fogarty. Thank you. I'd like to introduce these guys in case I get all carried away and flustered because uh, some people were very nice to let me be part of this. Especially over here, Bobby Weir. Randy Jackson. Steve Jordan. The man. <laughs> Genius at work, busy with all that stuff. I've got a little girl named uh, Lori that had two friends, the three of them were inseparable at about the age of 13. And I wrote this song for them. Couple of dreams. I wanted to grow up and play baseball in the baddest way. 
And that's just what I did. I grew up and I was real bad. But uh, music got a hold of me about 11 years old, I guess. And uh, fortunately for me, I was able to get a hold of something and uh, have a lot of fun about 20 years ago. And then I went off to the spring training or uh, the minors or whatever they call that. I couldn't hit the curveball. Whoa! But they sent me down and I uh, learned how to hit a curve real good. Especially in time! Anyway, so I wrote a song about what it might be like to get back. And I just want to tell you that uh, you never give up hope. As long as there's life, there's hope. <laughs>
You know, it's funny. Rumors have a way of hanging on, even when they're not true. Take the rumors about AIDS. People still believe you catch AIDS from shaking hands or sharing telephones. The truth is, there's not a single case of AIDS on record caused by casual contact. Put a stop to the rumors. Once and for all, find out the facts. I do one of those things I didn't write, but I always had a lot of fun singing it.
I just want to tell you what a ball it is to be doing these things after all this time, you know what I mean? It's great! In my hometown in Centerville. Y'all join in.
John. Hi, I'm Bill Graham, uh, here on behalf of Concert Against AIDS. Uh, the telephone number on the screen will indicate to you the number you should call if you would consider making a contribution that would go toward all the various organizations and projects that are being uh, put forth right now and all the efforts on behalf of the AIDS victims that live in the Bay Area. Your money will go to educational awareness. Uh, you can make a difference with your contribution. Uh, give what you can. Uh, your money will stay in the Bay Area and go towards all of the organizations that are helping those who are tragically caught in this uh, tragic situation. Thank you very much. Uh... Gary Radnich backstage here at the Oakland Coliseum. The number's on your screen. Your ticket to join us in this fight against AIDS. And John Fogarty is here. Even the crowd is here. Listen to the crowd for John. What a crowd. Right I take now, with me everywhere I go. You have outdrawn Los Lobos three to one. I'm going to tell you that right now, John. Yeah, Bigger right. crowd. A quick pitch, though, for the people at home for our cause this evening. Well, you got to remember that the money you send stays here in the Bay Area. These are all local causes. Please support us. Please help. Thank you. John Fogarty, a big baseball fan, even though he's relocated in Southern California. The Oakland A's. Yeah, but that was a bad move. That was a bad trade. I'll be back. Why did you move down? Just obviously more record opportunities? Ah, uh, so uh, who knows? Who knows? But the air's bad and there's too many people, so... So you will be coming back? <laughs> That's right. All right. Very quickly, the A's will repeat as American League champions, John? Guaranteed. Hey, we're going all the way this time. Because you do have a game of Jose, a catch with Jose Canseco in your resume. That's right. Yeah, he, these guys are all frustrated pitchers. You know that? Yeah. Every, now, let me show you my curve, man. Whew. Whoa! All right, every one of them. They're playing in the outfield, playing first base. They all have a curveball, a knuckleball. I can't believe this. Stuff. All right. Okay. Thanks very much, John. Thank you. That's John Fogarty. Again, great performer. Had the crowd turned on tonight. And one of the few men I know that has played catch with Jose Canseco, particularly this year, huh? That's right. All right. We'll see you backstage. Here are the numbers. That was Los Lobos, and we're going to soon be hearing from this gentleman, John Fogarty, who I'm sure you know from his own albums and from Creedence Clearwater Revival. John, a pleasure to see you. I see you, too. I know there's a story in how you happen to be joining us for this concert. Can you tell that? Well, uh, Jerry Garcia and Bobby Weir called me from The Grateful Dead. Actually, they got on two different phones and called me, and... Uh, I guess it was because I was caught in the middle. <laughs> they had one in each ear, uh, basically to tell me about this concert and that they had a spot for me. And uh, I said, that's fine. I, Gee, I'd love to do something, but I don't have a band. And I heard two voices say, we'll play. And that was kind of it. They, you know, they volunteered their services and helped get a band together. So here we are. Right. You've never played together, I assume. Just kind of a real impromptu thing once at the Bammies for three minutes, but yeah. never as, a, as an organized thing. Yesterday, we had a chance to tape part of the rehearsal, which sounded good to me from back here. How was it for you? Uh, it was good for me, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So do, do you have any particular feelings playing the old Credence tunes? I know you're into your newer things. Well, I, I've kind of readjusted myself to all that, and it's, um, it's not really a it's not a big hurdle or anything at all in my mind. I mean, I, you know, these are all these songs that I wrote that they were all lurking there, ready to come out for years. Um, it was only till about the past week that I started to realize I haven't done these songs here in Oakland in ages. I mean, a long, long time. That's kind of, wow, awesome. And then the fact that we're setting up at uh, the outdoor Coliseum in center field, you know, the home of the A's, which is, hey, I was like, my guys, you know? and center field put me in um if i let myself get carried away i can really start rambling on about all that yeah. sort of thing which takes us back to this event today in concert against stage i guess it's about positive energy new efforts uh do you have any personal feelings about this concert and the the cause well as entertainment i think we pretty much want to entertain i think once now that we are here that's the idea but as far as uh, awareness, I have to admit, even myself, up until two years or three years at the most, I, 
just wasn't paying attention much, you know. And uh, AIDS is obviously something that affects all of us. I just, uh, my own personal thoughts are that if somehow um, you got afflicted in some other manner other than through sex, you, you know, it would have a whole different uh, persona. It's, it's those things that are kind of keeping the awareness down. People don't want to deal with it or talk about it. It makes it, I'm, I'm not sure why, they keep it mystified. Yeah. And I, personally, I just think we have to get everyone to, to confront it face on and realize this is all of us and it is an epidemic and uh, we've all got to pitch in and find a cure. Right, and education is hopefully the way for now. Awareness. Okay. I'm yeah. going to look forward to hearing you sing an El Cerrito boy, by the way, a native. Okay, we'll be right back after this. The California AIDS Education and Support Foundation would like to pay special tribute to our